I was done. Set out the rest of that range. So just put the gun on it. Uh, that's because in the staff meeting we were complaining that they, they have they have more rounds on this rolling mm -hmm. thunder than they've ever had in the yeah. So I was like at like four hundred, I was like, there's a load already. already. <coughs> there was a load because I sniffed through all of them. Switch up, trust it. There was a guy there like they're walking around going, oh, that's not the right thing. <laughs> I dare you. of LAD out here integrating with, with 10th Marines with artillery is we're looking forward to that next threat. The days of, of counterinsurgency that we've been fighting, uh, 
Yeah, and those those are those are days past. Looking to the, the next enemy and, and what he's going to bring to the fight, when he's going to bear against us. And with that being said, we need to be able to, to integrate with our our brethren in GCE. So while they're conducting their fires, doing that surface for surface to surface uh, weapons fires, we can provide them air defense against their their threats. Most notably the those UAVs and those rubbery aircraft, uh, actually looking for those gun lines to destroy those assets. So by providing that surface to air weapons fire, we can ensure that the overall mission is accomplished. Uh, currently we're located on range 44 at Fort Bragg. It's a multi-purpose range, conducting that medium machine gun shoot with the 240 and that heavy machine gun with that 50 cal, uh, engaging targets at unknown distances. Uh, proficiency in the, the crew serve weapons is a TNR event. For our Marines, they need to be able to engage targets uh, with those crew serve weapons in the event of the uh, aerial threat or ground threat. Okay. Other two weapon systems, my favorite is the M240. Uh, very accurate, it's a high rate of fire. It's very, very easy to maintain as opposed to the, uh, the 50 cal machine guns. And the, main, the main purpose that we're out here is that integration, integration, integration. Putting that ground combat element and that air combat element together so they have seamless communication between the two and they're able to, to talk to one another, they're able to move forward and get inside the enemy's OODA loop to move faster, to act faster, and ultimately to shoot, move, communicate. That's what we're looking at. All that is necessary for Evil to Triumph is for good men to do nothing. Uh, it's by Evan Burke. I think it fully embodies the, the Marine Corps concept of, of being ready because all the, all the, the enemy needs is, is for someone to, to not interfere. And if you have good men, you know, good Marines, are ready at a moment's notice to to interdict and we'll be able to keep our country safe. Out here integrating with, with 10th Marines with artillery is we're looking forward to that next threat. The days of, of counterinsurgency that we've been fighting, uh, yeah, and those those are those are days past looking to the, the next enemy and, and what he's gonna bring to the fight and what he's gonna bear against us. And with that being said, we need to be able to, to integrate with our, our brethren in GCE. So while they're conducting their fires, doing that surface for, surface to surface uh, weapons fires, we can provide them air defense against their their threats. Most notably, the those UAVs and those rubbery aircraft, uh, actually looking for those gun lines to destroy those assets. So by providing that surface to air weapons fire, we can ensure that the overall mission is accomplished. Uh, currently, we're located on range 44 at Fort Bragg. It's a multi-purpose range, conducting that medium machine gun shoot with the 240 and that heavy machine gun with that 50 cal, uh, engaging targets at unknown distances. Uh, proficiency in the, the crew serve weapons is a TNR event. For our Marines, they need to be able to engage targets uh, with those crew serve weapons in the event of the uh, aerial threat or ground threat. Other okay. Of lad, I was done. Set out the rest of that range. So that's because in the staff meeting, they have they have more rounds on this rolling thunder than they've ever had. There was a look because I sniffed through all. I got out. There was a guy. They're like they're walking around. That's not the right thing. I dare you.
of LAD out here integrating with, with 10th Marines with artillery is we're looking forward to that next threat. The days of, of counterinsurgency that we've been fighting, uh, yeah, and those, those, are, those are days past looking to the, the next enemy and, and what he's going to bring to fight and what he's going to bear against us. I was done. Set out the rest of that range. That's because in the staff meeting when we were playing it, they have, they have more rounds on this rolling thunder than they've ever had on the same So I was like, at like 400, I was like, there was a load already. <laughs> there was a load because I sniffed through all of them. Switch out, try to check. There was a guy, they're like, they're walking around. Like, That's not the right thing. Mask <laughs> I dare you.
Neil. With that being said, we need to be able to, to integrate with our, our brethren the GCE. So while they're conducting their fires, doing that surface-to-surface surface surface, uh, weapons fires, we can provide them air defense against their, their threats, most notably the, those UAVs and those rotary aircraft, uh, actually looking for those gun lines to destroy those assets. So by providing that surface-to-air weapons fire, uh, we can ensure that the overall mission is accomplished. Uh, currently, we're located on range 44 at Fort Bragg. It's a multi-purpose range, conducting that medium machine gun shoot with the 240 and that heavy machine gun with that 50 cal, uh, engaging targets at unknown distances. Uh, proficiency in the, the crew serve weapons is a TNR event for our Marines. They need to be able to engage targets uh, with those crew serve weapons in the event of the uh, aerial threat or ground threat. Okay. Other two weapon systems, my favorite is the M240. Uh, very accurate. It's a high rate of fire. It's very, very easy to maintain as opposed to the, uh, the 50 cal machine guns. And the main, the main purpose that we're out here is that integration, integration, integration. Putting that ground combat element and that air combat element together so they have seamless communication between the two. 